This isn't WEAF New York or KGO Oakland or KSL Salt Lake City. But to the guys and gals of the Fifth Army in Italy, it's Benny and Pope and Toscanini. It's the way the Army brings the touch of home to Italy. And here we go. This is your American Expeditionary Station in the field with the Fifth Army. A radio service for American fighting men and their allies. program is being performed in the Hollywood studio, a master recording is made from which transcripts will be shipped to army and government operated stations all over the world. Strictly for you men overseas, no matter how small your outfit. And speaking of little things and trivia in general, here's old General Trivia in person. Your commanding officer of this command performance, your old sidekick and chief scout of the Wolf Patrol, Bob Holt. How do you do, fellas? This is Bob. This is Bob, Command Performance Hope, telling each Nazi that's in Russia today that crime here doesn't pay. <laughs> I'm now getting my material from H.V. Coltenborn. Radio on Wheels moves to where the entertainment is. And when a songwriter and a movie star make for the front, the mobile station follows right along. The Fifth Army American Expeditionary Station and the Special Service Section of the Fifth Army have the honor to present Irving Berlin, the cast and orchestra of his all-soldier stage hit, This is the Army. This is the Army, Mr. Gold.
a touch of beauty is added to our program by Hollywood's lovely Marlena Dietrich. Miss Dietrich, who has just recovered from a siege of pneumonia contracted here on the Italian front, has graciously joined us here to pay her respects to the Fifth Army. Here she is, lovely Miss Dietrich. Hello, boys. I want to say that sharing this entertainment with you today is to me more important than doing the entertaining. I had hardly thought it possible that entertainment of such high caliber could be presented out here in the field. I wish to add my respect and admiration along with General Clark and Irving Berlin to the men and women of the Fifth Army. If morale is kept as high, such as I've seen during my visit here in Italy, I'm certain that we can look forward to a speedy victory. Goodbye, good luck, Godspeed. Mr. Berlin himself will sing the song that has been inscribed for you fighting men and women of the Fifth Army. When we were told that we were to play our show for the Fifth Army, I wrote a special song for the occasion, which I am singing in the show. Now I would like to sing The Fifth Army's Where My Heart Is and dedicate it to you, the fighting men of the Fifth Army. I met her in America about a month ago. She asked me if I'd bring her love to a certain G.I. Joe. She said, when he returns, I'll be his bride. I asked her where he was, and she replied, not the first, not the second, not the third, not the fourth, but the fifth. Army's where my heart is. He's somewhere on a beachhead, which must be lots of fun. I can see him in a bathing suit, basking in the sun from a cute signorina. He's been learning to talk like a real native of Rome. She's a very tasty dish, but my baby no capish till the fifth army comes home. That's a mortar gunner. Before the war, he worked as a steam fitter in Detroit. That rifleman used to make his living as a tailor. He worked on a wheat field in northern Wisconsin. The gunner was a waiter in a New York hotel. They were knocked out of the fighting in Italy or Africa, Burma, or in the Pacific. Some of them were knocked out by enemy fire, some of them by the tropical fevers of the South Pacific, some of them by age or loneliness, or shock. You may have known some of them. You may have wondered what became of the wounded who went back. They've been away for a long time now. Coming back again, some of them feel like strangers. What will home be like? Will there be many changes? How will it feel to be back in their own country? The first of the soldiers' questions to be answered is the question of their health. In the big evacuation hospitals along the coast, their injuries are classified and treatment is planned, employing all the skill and knowledge of modern medicine. Whenever it's possible, men are sent for treatment to the hospitals nearest their homes. Once these men are on their feet again, they go to reconditioning and reclassification centers, large hotels that have been converted into hospitals. Here the men learn the use of their hands again. Exercise brings strength to their arms and legs. Their sense of balance, their physical self-confidence returns. The paratrooper is Sergeant Ralph Borden, who picked up 17 pieces of German mortar shrapnel. Plastic surgery gave him a new face. Here, depending upon the gravity of their injuries and their response to treatment, 
the men are either returned to duty or discharged. 